All right, and we will go ahead and get started with Dale and Hayes. Dale, and your first question is from John Finneran. Okay. Hi, Dale, and I uh, wonder if you could talk a little bit about uh, your play today and, and what it means now to finally get everything behind you, and now you can concentrate solely on Clemson. Um, by behind me, what do you mean? Well, the, the you know the the games leading up to now, and and now you you've got them all behind you, and now it's Clemson coming up this week. Oh man, it's just an awesome opportunity. Uh, I mean, we don't have to beat around the bush anymore. It's Clemson week, baby. So let's go out. We're gonna go out. We're gonna like work our butts off. We're gonna stick to our process, and um, just excited, just excited for uh, our team, just uh, to be ascending at this point. So we'll go next to Andrew Mentok. Uh, you talked a little bit about your two sacks, I guess almost three, if that um, fumble in the, the fourth quarter doesn't get overturned by the rest. What, I guess, what have you been kind of working on to improve your pass rush? And what does it mean to um, get a couple sacks today? I think your last sack um, was last year against Louisville. Yeah, um, you know, just working on the details of everything. But I mean, I mean, I feel like a lot of people have been making a big deal about like my production as far as, as being a pass rusher. I mean, and a lot of times, like, you know, it's not like I've been winning. Like, there's been wins. Like, I've, I've, there's been times where I've been close to the quarterback or have hit good rushes. It's just sometimes it doesn't play out. Play out. You know what I'm saying? Like, those plays don't come to you. And that's just a part of being one, in, uh, one of 11. Um, and, you know, like, as long as we're winning and we're playing great defense uh, and guys are making plays, I mean, there's nothing more you can ask for. So um, today, like, just happened to be, you know, a day where those plays came to me and I was excited. And um, I'm glad the first one uh, is, like, the sweetest, but it's also the hardest one to get out the way. So. Uh, glad I can put that behind me and just kind of keep, just keep kite, keep moving forward. So, we'll go next to Patrick Engel. Dale, I'm hurt. Coach, tell us a few minutes ago you made a, a to use his words, a conscious decision to be a great player. Can you kind of take us through what that involves? What's different? What's extra? Even. Um, I think it's really about just being one of eleven, uh, being one of eleven out there on the field. Um, trusting our brothers to 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 do their jobs, and I'm going to do my part uh, being out there. But I mean, as far as like in practice, I mean, it's just being consistent day in and day out. You know, busting your butt, uh, working your craft, honing in on your craft, extra meetings, spending extra time with our coaches. Like anything that you can do to give yourself an edge come Saturday, um, it always shows up in some form or fashion. So I'm um, just doing the best that I can to prepare myself to be the best player that I can be for my brothers on uh, on Saturday. We'll go next to Josh Bowles. Yeah, Dalen, uh, only six points allowed today by the defense. Uh, what what do you think, uh, you know, can, attributes to how well you guys have been playing this year, keeping people out of the red zone? Uh, I mean, what uh, just overall team, you know, team play, team scheme, uh, what, what do you guys owe that to? Um, the brotherhood, you know, we, we, we go out and we play for each other. We love each other. We take that personally. Honestly, six points that we gave up is six points too many uh, in our minds, so. You know, we're going to go back. We're going to watch the film, uh, see where we had our, our, our mistakes to have to clean up because we can't make these we can't make any mistakes against uh, Clemson next week. So, you know, we're going to we, we want to be perfect. Like we want to be the best defense. We uh, we take it personally. We care about each other. We love each other. Um, and when you have that love and care factor, man, the sky's the limit for 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 any group, you know, so we, we always say for the brotherhood FTB um, and we take this personally, man. So, you know, like I said, the six points that we gave up, we didn't even want to give up that. So next week we're gonna lock in and we're gonna put on our best put our best foot forward and let the let the chips fall where they may. So, you know, just our brotherhood is is strong, our commitment, um, our buy-in, um, our coaches, they put us in great positions. So it's all it's all it's all one unit, one organism working in tandem with one another to to be the best version of itself. And we will end it with Tim O'Malley. I just want to follow up on your performance today and ask you, do you feel fresher because of that rotation of the defensive line? I mean, you, you guys have been bringing in eight, sometimes nine guys for the entire season. And it's just, is, is it something you notice that as the game goes on, you actually feel it? I know you don't want to come out of a game, but is it, is it definitely helping the, the defensive line? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we have a lot of guys that are like really good players. Um, so, you know, everybody, Everybody busts, the coach Ellison tells us all, all the time, like everybody busts their butt, like the commitment in our D-line room from the youngest guy to the, to the oldest guy, the fifth year captain to the uh, true freshman, like the commitment and buy-in um, from like from the top down with coach Ellison led, led by coach Ellison to, like I said, our youngest guy, man, we, we all care and we all love each other. 
And when you go out and you bust your butt in practice, like Coach Elson is going to give you opportunities to go out and play because uh, they're earned opportunities. Um, so, you know, it, it's it's an awesome uh, rotation to keep us fresh. It's awesome for competition. We're all out there trying to, you know, get, get, put our best foot forward. So uh, I think it creates um, a really, a really cool dynamic within our D-line room where everyone knows they're going to play. Everyone's bought in. The youngest guys are in with the oldest guys and our, like, you know what I'm saying, our extra meetings and are excited to go out and play on game day. So like, and, and, and go out and produce. So um, I think that it, Coach Ellison has done a great job with creating that type of di dynamic within our D-line room because it keeps everybody hungry and it, it gives everybody opportunities to go out and play play football for the team that they came to play for. So everybody gets to go out and put out a performance for their brother. So it's really cool.